Okay, so I love spicy food of all kinds. Thai food, Indian food, Mexican food, you name it, I love it. And as a cocktail nerd, I keep trying to take cocktails and make them spicy. The problem is they either end up way too spicy and blowing my head off, or they just don't have enough spice to really satisfy, you know what I mean? So today I'm gonna try somebody else's spicy cocktail recipe and find out does it even work? Because at this point, I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence as to whether or not you can reliably make a spicy cocktail that that really hits the spice level exactly right. Based off of where I got this recipe, I think that if any recipe can straddle that middle ground perfectly, it's going to be this one. But I don't know. It's called a bottle rocket, so it might it might blow my face off. We shall see. <laughs> Alright, so the reason I think this cocktail might have a perfect spice balance is because it comes to us from Sasha Petrosky's book regarding cocktails. That right there is enough to give me the confidence to give this thing a whirl. I'll start by adding one slice of jalapeno pepper, a quarter inch thick, to my shaker tin. Followed by three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice, and two ounces of Blanco tequila. Shake that with ice until thoroughly chilled. Add an ice spear to a Collins glass and strain the cocktail on top. To finish, top with carbonated water. There's nothing wrong with generic club soda, but today I'm gonna flex and use some Topo Chico. The subtle mineral flavor and aggressive carbonation will perfectly complement the rest of this drink. Finally, add a straw, and that is the bottle rocket. All right, well, best part of the video, the moment of truth, time to give this thing a taste and find out, find out if I like it or not. You guys know what the deal is, so I'm just gonna give it a go, tell you what I think. Cheers. Ooh, it's spicy. It's definitely spicy. It's not burning my lips because I'm drinking with a straw. It's hitting me like halfway halfway through my mouth. Um, it tastes a lot like a Tommy's margarita. The honey, lime, and jalapeno together kind of, they taste a lot like agave syrup and lime. That might partially be because of the Topo Chico. Maybe if you use the club soda, it would be a little bit clearer that it's honey flavored. Um, so maybe the mineral water is affecting it a little bit, but I gotta say, it's really pleasant. It, it kind of tastes like a slightly bubbly, spicy Tommy's margarita, which is really nice. It's funny to me to refer to this as a margarita because it's based off of a variation on a margarita, which completely changes the format from a sidecar format, which is the original margarita, to a daiquiri spec, the Tommy's margarita, and then this is like a riff off of that one. So it's like one massive and then a small step away from the margarita, so it's kind of stupid to mention it in the same context as this drink. But you know what I mean, like it's... That, the margarita is kind of the measure for a lot of people. It's the reference point for tequila cocktails. So um, if I say it's it's slightly more honey, earthy, and spicy than a you know agave syrup or Tommy's margarita, a lot of people are gonna know what I mean. You know, and if you like that, you're gonna love this. If if you like the spice, obviously. The spice level is pretty low, especially the more you sip on it. Um, it kind of just settles in, and like I said, because you're drinking with a straw, it's not hitting your lips, which I think is really smart with a cocktail like this, because that's been my issue in the past with spicy cocktails, you know, trying to float some sort of a spicy, you know, uh, habanero-infused tequila on top of a drink, or I even tried something with uh, Szechuan peppercorns. The novelty of a drink being spicy kind of wears off pretty quickly if it's just burning your lips, you know, because every time you take a sip, it doesn't cool your mouth down, it just kind of reignites the fire. It's just not that pleasant. This, because it hits you in the middle of your mouth due to the straw, it's really nice. My lips are not burning at all, and I've drank, you know, that much of it already. Uh, spiciness level, I'd give this maybe a two for me. If you go to a Thai restaurant and you order your curry as mild as possible, 
and you know, it still comes out spicy, right? Because curry paste is inherently spicy. This is less spicy than that. So if you can handle a, one, a level of one spiciness at a Thai restaurant, you can handle this. And if you enjoy that, you're definitely gonna enjoy this. If you wanted it to be spicier, which I don't think you'd want to, I think, it's, I think it's just right for a cocktail. But if you wanted it to be spicier, you could double up on the jalapeno or you could use a little bit of another pepper. I think habanero would be really good, but way, way spicier at the same time. So what else can I say? It's delicious. I think the Topo Chico was a really good choice here. I would, naturally. It was, it was my choice. Of course, I'm gonna think it's a good idea if I like the flavor, but you know, club soda, Club soda would be good as well. I mean, I, I got thumbnails to make. I got to do stuff that's interesting. If I just keep using cheap club soda, it's kind of like, eh, where's the interest? You know, I, I thought it was cool. And I, I definitely do think that it makes the honey a little bit more agave like, you know, as I said earlier. If you liked the video, hit the button. If you didn't like the video, hit the other button and let me know why in the comments down below. Let me say thank you for watching. My name is Luke. This is the homemade edition. And I hope to see you in the next video. I really do. So until then, cheers.